Here's an update to my <coughs> computer that I found in the trash. This is the actual operating system that is on it. Actually, I actually have a Word document that's open. I'm just going to minimize it for a brief minute. Because that was telling me that the Norton subscription has expired. This is what I'm saying about when you get rid of a computer, you're about to throw it away. You should always wipe the hard drive. This is why I say this is important because I'm now in this system looking at, you know, the desktop, the, the files that they have created and all sorts of jazz that's on the system. You know, potential risk for a hacker to expose any personal information like bank accounts, like I said in the previous video, that could be used to do all sorts of malicious stuff to one's account and one's credibility. Again, I cannot highly stress this, people. Wipe your hard drive. I mean, please, wipe your hard drive before you get rid of any computer, before you send it in for repairs, whatnot, because you never know who's going to use this information against you later or, like I said in the last video, for their personal entertainment. You know, if you have videos or pictures or, or music that's somewhat, you know what I'm trying to say, it's somewhat entertainment or pleasant to one's taste. So, like I said, folks, just remove a hard drive, put in a blank one, and get rid of the computer if it's obsolete. I won't say throw it out in the trash because now they're, they're passing legislation or there's already laws on the books in your local municipality or town near you governing what you can do with e-waste such as old computers, old obsolete computers. I'm just going to take a look to see what's on the computer, how much memory it is. It's Windows 7. AMD. AMD. Has three gigs of memory installed to 64-bit operating system. Nice. So HP P6243W. So it's a pavilion desktop. Um, it's a nice system. I, I, I was gonna get rid of it or probably sell it, but I might keep it as a spare. It's got a chock full of uh, power to it, so I'm going to keep it as a spare, either as a wiping station or as a second computer. But, but this information has to go, all the stuff that's on their desktop, I'm going to have to blow it away and just put a new copy or do a system restore, which will probably erase all of this stuff. Who knows what I'm going to do with this system, but again, folks, just a quick update. If you're getting rid of a computer, you're going to donate it to charity, you're going to donate it to the, the local thrift store, you're going to donate it to whatever, or just throw it outside on the curb and hopefully the trash man will pick it up, which he probably won't pick it up. Like I said, all it took me was a matter of a few minutes to break the password and I'm already in the system. Just wipe the hard drive. If you cannot wipe it by any means through via software, which I mentioned, D-Band, there's other utilities you can use to wipe the hard drive online. If you just Google it, you know, use your search engine and find it. You can find it. But or just take the hard drive apart and physically destroy, it, or just drill a couple of holes into the top surface and the bottom, make the drive unreadable or unusable. Or maybe throwing it off of a off of a ten story building may help. Maybe 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 not. I don't recommend that because you may hurt somebody and end up getting sued, but please, as as a public service announcement, wipe your hard drive. Destroy your hard drive if you can't wipe it by software means. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Later.